So cover letters for designers? Seriously? I think cover letters definitely need a video to explain, but one and one video only. Because to me, it's kind of nonsense. In this video, I'm going to answer all the questions that you have or you might have regarding cover letters for designers. I'm going to show you some of my cover letters that I wrote in the past, what I had gone through, and explain why I don't like cover letters. Let's roll the intro. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. To start off this video, we need to understand what a cover letter is. So we turn to the knowledge center of the 21st century, Google. So let's see, what do we have? People also ask. So when writing a cover letter, you should introduce myself, I should mention the job or kind of job that I'm applying to, and three, show that my skills and experience match the skills and experience that the company is looking for, that the job needs. And four, encourage the reader to read your resume. What? Okay, this is unbelievable. Think about it this way. A resume is the concise summary of yourself. And you need a cover letter with three big paragraphs to explain why they should read this. This should be the first thing they should read, not the cover letter. <sighs> Shoot me in the head. But jokes aside, a cover letter is meant to explain why you are a good fit for this role that you're applying to, right? If I were to write a cover letter, that means I need to write why my design skills and experiences are relevant. So I work on this project, that project, I solve that problem, I make this design choice because of A, B, C, and D, I did this research to back that decision up. Does that logic make sense to you? Does it remind you of something else? Yeah, your portfolio. That's what your portfolio is for. It's a visual way to tell your story, to tell what you worked on, what the problem you solved, what kind of iteration that you've gone through, what research you did, what solutions you come up with, what prototypes that you built, what is your visual interaction, motion design execution. That's what portfolio is for. You want to have a cover letter. You want to explain yourself as a designer in words instead of pictures, videos, Prototypes? Really? But of course, when I just started in 2015, hunting my first internship, I am just a little sheep. I didn't think too much. I don't have too many opinions. I just followed the herd. So I wrote a cover letter for all the job posts, even if they're optional. So doing more research on how to write cover letter, I discovered that you need a five paragraph, intro, reason A, B, and C, conclusion, classic English class essay sandwich style, boom, you have a cover letter. So now let's take a quick look at what I have wrote in the past and see how funny and how ridiculous that is. I have a Google Drive folder dedicated for this, right? CL stands for cover letter 2015, right? I didn't make this up, this is all real. Little bit, Uber, Nice Sprout, I, Honeywell, Frog, Adobe, CBS, blah, 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 blah. Well, how many are there? Let's see. 22, I wrote 22 cover letters. You know how much time it takes to write 22 cover letters? While you have all homeworks to do, you have your resume to write, you have your portfolio to put together. This was a nightmare. Plus, I was not a good writer. I sucked at writing. I never enjoyed writing, so that also make it even harder. So each cover letter was literally grilling me. I turned into medium rare at some point. Maybe medium well. Well, let's continue. Let's just pick a few, right? Yelp, let's see what Yelp has. <laughs> Dear Yelp Human Resources, you're posting on LinkedIn for a UI designer intern with knowledge of visual and interaction design. Interest me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. With my skill sets in UX interaction design, visual UI design and front-end programming, I can contribute well <laughs> to Yelp. <laughs> Run flags. What the f was I writing? But to be fair, that was actually the language or the tone or the structure that you were supposed to write in a cover letter. Look at this long paragraph, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. For each cover letter, I basically have 
this much text. Yeah, everything is on one page, but let's see what else. A uh, little bit. So little bits was an electronic ish company. See, another two long paragraphs. If I were to spend all the time that I spend on writing cover letters on my resume or on portfolio, I think my portfolio could have been a lot better. Should have stayed that time. And what else? Honeywell, anything interesting? Frog. Frog design, right? Wow, right? That the good ones that I wrote even longer, spent even more time. Despite writing really thoughtful and painful paragraphs for all these companies, none of them got back to me. That's a reality. None of these got back to me. Zero. Silch. Nothing. It was indeed frustrating. And becoming a rebellious designer who took first principle approach and have a point of view or started to develop a view of how the world should work, I started to question the nature of cover letters for designers. And I was thinking, this is ridiculous. In the end, you know, in summer 2015, I internet MuleSoft. And fun fact, they did not require a cover letter. So fast forward to 2016, there are still companies that I try to apply to to get another internship. They require more cover letters. So I wrote more. The more companies that I did not hear back, the more mad that I got. At one point, I reached my limit. Like how Camilla would describe it. Ridiculous! Say with me, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So I was like, screw this cover letter. F*** this. I'm not gonna write it. This is completely bullshit but they still require me to submit a cover letter. So this is what I did. Let's turn to CL 2016 for ideal. Ideal, ideal. I think it's ideal. Anyways, right, they have interaction design, industrial design, physical interaction design, interaction design, product design. So I wrote one for each, but here's what I did differently. Check this out. Interaction design intern. In the ideal, you're posting on ideal for an interaction design intern interest me. With my skill set in interaction and service design, I can contribute well to ideal. Well, not the sexy, it's the opening. The key is what I come up with next. Instead of having that five long paragraphs, I did this. My portfolio will better demonstrate my skills rather than words. So I compiled a list of links to my project with corresponding skills. Mobile web digital design, check these links. Motion design, check this link. Front end CSS, HTML, JavaScript, check these ones. Branding, visual graphic, do this. Interactive, game design, do this. Service, system design, do this. After you review my portfolio and resume for demonstration of skill sets from my previous project with additional information on qualification and work experience, please contact me to discuss how my skills can benefit from IDEO as an interaction design intern. I look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> This is baller. Please contact me to discuss further. This is a bold redesign of a cover letter to break the tradition, anti-establishment. I'm so proud of what I had. But for real, this is literally what I submitted. So in the application, that cover letter is required. This was what I attached. And you know, magic really happens. Hey, I got an interview with IDEO. And this is when I started laughing. I spent hours literally learning how to write and write cover letters in 2015, right? Look at all these, look at all these, all these 22 cover letters and all these companies, some of those, you, don't, you might not even know what they are, right? What is this, this nice sprouts? What do they do? I don't even know. Do they, do they sell bean sprouts at night? I don't know. No response. None of these. This one, it literally took me five minutes to put together all the links. And hey, I got an interview with a world-class, well-respected, well-known design agency. Look at the contrast. It's night and day. To be fair, my portfolio in 2016 might have helped to get me that ideal interview. But that's not the point. The point is cover letters for designers are not necessary. This five minute one is way more than enough. And at this point, I don't even think you need this. You should not spend five minutes putting all this together. Your portfolio, that's it. That's all you need. Another fun fact, I declined the ideal interview because by then I already accepted an offer with Pinterest, as you know, summer 2016. So I was like, eh, never mind. I like Pinterest. Let me stay with Pinterest. So after all this nightmare, this wasted work and me being a little bit more cynical, here's what I would question. If a company really insists that they need a cover letter from a designer for a designer role, 
I think they really have a toxic culture in the company. Why would they want to waste the candidate's time by asking them to write another cover letter while they can clearly submit their portfolio to demonstrate whatever they need to for their skills, experience. So if I'm applying to a company that requires me to submit a cover letter and it's mandatory, required, I will question what kind of company is this? What are they thinking? Do they know how to hire designers and go one level higher? Do they have a good design system, design organization? Do they respect design? Do they value design? What role would I be playing if I join this kind of company? And of course, this is my personal opinion. I can completely be wrong. There might be a market or a role or purpose for cover letters for designers, but I still don't believe so. I don't like writing one. I don't want to write one. If I'm hiring, I would definitely not require you to write one. So the takeaway from me from this video is that cover letters are ridiculous. Red flag, so many red flags. Red flag all day long, 24 seven. So that's why I said in the beginning, cover letters are nonsense. So if you somehow have to write one, maybe don't spend too much time on it. Rather spend that time on your resume, on your portfolio, mainly portfolio. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful and insightful, please go ahead and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more UX design videos like this, also consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers.